hey guys it's z here back with another tutorial and i hope you all are doing great so guys today it's gonna be a quick and short tutorial on the sledge as you can see in the preview so without wasting any time let's just read get into it so guys first things first you have to get your edit ready without the glitch so as you can see i already exported it and gave it motion blur right now and now we are gonna give it the glitch that i made in the preview so for that the very first thing is the negative effect which will be from the filters so go to filters and search search a filter called negative add it in your timeline now make sure to put it on the beat and make it off two frames long just like this and then just leave it there now copy it and paste it after going two frames to the left and make it off one frame long just like this now we have to add an adjustment layer to make another flicker type thing so add an adjustment layer right after this after one frame then make it off two frames long now you have to go to its curves and then just do exactly the same as me with the white graph. Just drag it a little bit to the right from the bottom. Now, as you can see, this is making it a bit darker. If your clip is too bright, you can just move it more to the right. I'll just keep it here. Now our flickers are done. You have to do one more thing here. You have to add the adjustment layer again above these negative effects and make it of same length, just like this. Then just select both of these and go to their basic and change the saturation to minus 50. To just make it black and white now we'll add some blur to it so for that just search an effect called blur and add it right on the beat just like this then you have to give it some keyframes at the starting make it 100 add a keyframe there then go a little bit forward just like this not much then just make it go back to zero split it right there then for the graphs just open it and then give graph to the second keyframe and make it go all the way straight just like that now you can also give it a little bit of glow so for that you can add glow to here add it on the beat just like this and make its length a bit more than the blur just like that then at the starting you have to give it keyframes make it 100 there glow and size and then at the ending make glow and size both zero then for the graphs just do exactly the same as you did with blur give graph to the second keyframe and then just make it go all the way straight same for glow same for size now our glitch is mostly done you just have to add one more effect and give it some keyframes so that effect is jitter blur search that up and then add it below this blur make sure to add it below this blur to make it look good and make sure that you added seven frames before the beat so i counted the frames and added it below this blur effect just like this now for its adjustments what you have to do is change everything back to zero but at the starting make the range zero and add keyframes to it then go a little bit forward and change it to 100 then go a few frames more forward and add a keyframe there then go a little bit forward from the blur and then add a keyframe there and change the range back to zero now you have to copy paste it after going one frame forward just like this now you have to add jitter blur again but this time it should be a little bit forward than the first one and it should be above the blur and also reduce its length then just change everything back to zero except the range make it 100 then copy paste it one more time after going one frame more forward and make its length a little bit more or less and that's it that's how I did this glitch. That's how you guys can learn how to do this glitch in CapCut. Now, all you have to do is just simply copy paste it on other beats and your glitch is done. You can also try to add any effect to it or you can say any color to it by adding an adjustment layer above these other adjustment layers which you added before. And then from the curves, you can simply change their color to whatever you want. And that's it. That's how you can make this glitch in CapCut. I know the preview is kind of laggy, but I cannot do anything about it because it's 30 FPS. I cannot record in 60. This was a quick and short tutorial. I hope you guys understood it. And thanks for watching. See you guys in another video. Till then, bye bye.